Hello and welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And let's talk today about forecasting techniques. One more. Holt Winter's multiplicative seasonality with no trend. So when do we use it? We apply it to time series whose amplitude increases or decreases over time. And it's based on the equation. So Ft plus 1, so the forecast is equal to 80 times st minus s plus 1. If you go to addictive model, it is plus. So we uh, change from pluses to multiply or divided by. So that is the main difference. So we also work with two uh, components, the level components, AT, and seasonal component, ST. So the level component, AT, is equal to alpha uh, multiplied by the actual T, divided by S, the seasonality, T minus S. So we don't need to know the ST in advance to calculate alpha because we use an old ST. Plus one minus alpha, like in any exponential smoothing approach, multiplied by AT minus one. So that is so the uh, previous AT. And the seasonal component ST is equal to epsilon multiplied by the actual t divided by a t. So here is what we need to know first. We need to know a t first to calculate the st. Plus 1 minus epsilon multiplied by the st minus s. So if we, what is this s? If we are working with monthly numbers, the seasonality is 12 months. So the s is 12. If we are working with quarterly numbers, the S is 4, for instance. And then the forecast for the next period is AT times ST minus S plus 1. So it's easier. However, we have an issue with the initial numbers because how do we find AT minus 1 for the first number? We don't have it. Or ST minus S. So we need a different way to calculate the initial numbers. So for the first S period, first 12, if we are working with monthly basis, or for if we are working on quarterly basis, AT, just like the additive model, the average of the 12 or four previous or four next numbers. So the first period, the first year, will be the same number on A and S, for the additive model is 80 uh, actual number minus 80. Here is divided by 80. So how does it work? So let's go to our Excel file. So a company X is a two-year revenue here, and we want to forecast the next two months. So here, the level for the first year, it is the average of the first year. The same number for all of first year. And seasonality, revenue divided by level. So that is seasonality for the first year. However, from the second year on, and here the more numbers we have, the better. We have here, what is the formula? Alpha, the C4, times actual number divided by the seasonality. So here, 12, the, uh, a delay of 12, plus one minus C4 times the previous level. And we copy and paste it for every month. For the seasonality, epsilon multiplied by actual number divided by 80 plus 1 minus epsilon multiplied by the seasonality. And then we have these numbers for S. And then here we have the forecast, that is the previous 80 multiplied by the first seasonality. And then for the new numbers, the first we just follow the lead uh, 80 multiplied by the old seasonality. 
However, for the second one, because it is the uh, T now is 2, so the AT multiplied by ST minus S plus 2. So here we have this number here. And then for March, it, it would be times this one. So this is the seasonal component. And then, okay, we just test with 0, 06 and 0, 07. However, let's, or 0, 06 and 0, 08. Let's see if we can optimize this number. So we can do it using solver. And then if you don't have solver on your Excel, just go on file, options, add-ins, Excel add-ins, and then select solver add-in. So solver. Let me reset here and okay. So what do we want? We want to minimize the MAP, the medium average percentage error by changing these two cells here. And then let's solve it. So 0 0.2 and then the epsilon remains 0 0.8. So now the error moves from 12 to 10%. That's it, guys. Not so hard if you know the formula, especially if you know the additive model. And by the way, we have a video about it. It is on our playlist, so double check it there. And thank you so much for watching this video. Questions or comments, just leave them here or email me. Have a very nice day and God bless you.